So you need to have a sense of what is your, like, how are you going to adjust your life to uh, do all the things that are required for this class. This is probably the most significant part of this little intro lecture because it's the place where you get real <laughs> with yourself and figure out where you're going to um, carve the time, and if you can carve the time, to devote to this class, which it'll be really fun. You'll like it, um, but it definitely is going to take some time. So this schedule, we've already looked at it before, color-coded. Um, I'm not going to focus on this schedule because I think, I think an easier way for us to think about it is looking at um, kind of a, like, how are you going to break down your time? And so I have gone through and I've thought about, okay, in a normal non-exam week, you're going to have two video lectures to watch. Most video lectures do not go over an hour, but most students spend um, two hours on the video lectures. And that is because while they're doing the, while they're watching the video, they're working on their external brain. So the extra time that they're putting in, they're studying, they're processing, they're looking things up, they're, they're drawing pictures, they're doing whatever they need to do to make sure that they really are understanding the content that is in that video. So if you, okay, because you need to have that done before you come to class on Tuesday. So when are you going to do it? Most people do it Monday night. What happens if you save it for Monday night is that if doo-doo happens in your life and you can't get to it or you end up doing it at 2 o'clock in the morning, like, you know how that is going to affect you and it's um, often, like, yeah, that kind of sucks. So um, you might consider flipping, watching the video lectures a little bit more in advance so that you can adjust to um, doo-doo happens. When you get to class, 5% of your course grade is just in showing up and clicking and doing pop quizzes or whatever else needs to happen. Watching that video preps you for that, so you should be good to go. On Tuesdays, after right after lecture, we're headed to lab. That's three hours. That's three hours of time you get to hang with me. Oh, yeah. And we'll do something, and all the work that is required for lab, you should be able to finish during that three-hour chunk of time. That's 20% of your grade right there. You don't have to put in extra time. You do have to transfer that lab content into your external brain. So that will be um, somehow you need to ha you need to carve out time for your external brain somewhere. You might be able to do your external brain and get it all updated during the lab on Tuesday, and then you'll be ready to rock for the next Tuesday when you do your external brain check. Thursday, new video, no problem prep for class, no problem, same thing, 5%, awesome. At the end of every week, so now you made it through class, you flipped twice, you came to class, you did your lab, everything, like you're golden. On the weekend, I'm making you study as well. You need to finish building your external brain. Do like, And that's just studying, which you should be doing. Do not wait until an exam to study, like do it as you go. And then I give you a quiz in Canvas. So it's an online quiz, and it will open up probably on Thursday after class, and it will stay open until Sunday. Canvas quizzes are due Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. No late anythings ever, including Canvas quizzes. Get that puppy done. You get to take it twice. Did I already say this? I feel like I've said this before. You take it twice, I'll take the high score. It's super straightforward, but it is, that thing I think is 15% of your grade. External brain was what, 10% of your grade? And all of this preps you for exams. So 
So the more committed you are to coming up with a schedule and being really disciplined about sticking to it, the better you'll do on your exams, which was, what was that, 50% of your grade? Uh-huh. There's one more thing that I wanted to tell you. I forgot what it was. But that's okay because it's not going to be long before I get to see you and meet you and give you a bunch of high fives and woof woofs. All right. And if you have any questions at all, give me a holla holla because um, I know that this is a lot, but read the syllabus. Okay. I can't wait to see you soon. Bye-bye.